beaches to the valleys. At 6, this is KEYT News Channel 3, where the news comes first. Good evening, everybody. I'm C.J. Ward. And I'm Beth Farnsworth. Weeks of outreach in Santa Barbara County are working. The number of people getting the COVID vaccine is up. And News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palminteri joins us live. John, you have the latest updated numbers and the latest health order. Well, the vaccination outreach efforts and the overall mask requirement is apparently making a difference when it comes to the COVID-19 numbers in Santa Barbara County. But Santa Barbara County Public Health officials say that this mask requirement and the mandate will still be in effect, likely for at least another month. We are reporting a 68.9% of eligible Santa Barbara County residents as fully vaccinated. Santa Barbara County says vaccination numbers are up slightly, although they are not at the 80% mark they had been referencing early on when the COVID-19 vaccination clinics first began. Vaccination outreach efforts in northern Santa Barbara County have been helping. The city of Guadalupe has seen the highest percentage increase in residents getting the vaccine in recent weeks. Speaking to the Board of Supervisors, health leaders say the youngest residents continue to be a targeted population. The summer peak of 2021 was higher than the summer peak of 2020 among 0 to 18 year olds. Most 0 to 18 year old cases reside in Santa Maria, followed by the Santa Barbara and then Lompoc. Health officials say they were very concerned about the ongoing message of what they called misinformation from some members of the public who are against the mask mandate or the vaccine. And they urge the public to stay the course on the health department's recommendations to deal with this virus. I will not get this vaccine. Several members of the public who are not getting vaccinated spoke to the supervisors about their research and their desire to make their own decisions. They say they don't want to be forced into something they don't want to do. The next level and the next echelon of our civil liberties and rights being taken away is here. It's happening now. The health department says it will continue to respond with the science and facts it's presented since the COVID crisis began. If somebody repeats and unsubstantiated claims may actually influence or leave the audience insecure or uncertain about actual facts. And that is a concern to me. The county once again referenced the multi-layer Swiss cheese approach to the COVID battle with several levels of protection, ranging from vaccinations to mask wearing to social distancing. There's also been an extension of the health order for the indoor mask mandate until at least November the 5th. In addition to getting the update on COVID-19, the Santa Barbara supervisors also rolled up their sleeves and before the meeting started and they got to the regular agenda, they received their flu shots in the chambers of the Board of Supervisors as a reminder to get the vaccination for influenza. It's now available. Reporting live outside of the County Administration Building in downtown Santa Barbara, I'm John Palmentary, News Channel 3. All right, thanks so much for the update, John. Santa Barbara County reported today another person has died from COVID. The person lived in Santa Maria, was between the ages of 50 and 69.